Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you in my um, my new use case of how I'm managing it to list all the Atlassian community events in my region, in Germany basically, and then how I'm automating that to be created as a Jira project plan with dates, with um, the Gantt diagram and all of those beautiful stuff for me to keep track of all of the different events and you know, if there is an event um, in that region, probably to participate, but as well to apply to be a speaker in that event and hopefully share knowledge and tips and tricks about Atlassian Atlassian Cloud with um, our customers and community. So what you see here is how you would do this manually. You know, you would um, go to the Atlassian community. If you select Europe and then look for Germany, there are like 26 different cities where Atlassian community events can be hosted. And really keeping track of everything happening there, it's a little bit difficult. So you would open the page, you will check if there is an upcoming event, uh, okay, is the date perfect or not, and all of those stuff. So in my case, I would copy, literally copy that and go to my timeline view, create the event, save it, you know, go in, edit all the data, what is the date, and so on and so forth. But I would like to have the list in Jira for me to decide, join, not join, apply, or not apply, and all of that. So to have my own workflow. And instead of doing that manually and having to do that every day probably, um, I decided to do this with N8N, it's an automation platform. They support AI um, automations as well. And I'll show you in a second how I'm combining an, a, a, an a workflow with large language model from Cloud, with Jira, with JavaScripting, all of that to reach the target and uh, the goal that I have. So it all starts by triggering the workflow manually at the moment, but this could be automated maybe once per day, once per week, once per month. And then what I'm doing, I'm resetting all my events to make sure I'm getting fresh data. And then I'm just giving the system in one of the nodes all the different chapters that I'm interested in. I don't wanna you know, scan the whole world for both events, makes no sense, uh, but I'd like to focus on Germany. And as you see here, I'm just giving you know, the top you know, 20 um, items that I have here. After that, what I'm doing is I'm scanning those web pages. I'm literally going and scanning those pages and getting the result, which if we execute, it will give me the sort of HTML um, code behind every page. And if you check the file, it's really long. It's really long. So the idea that I had sending this to Cloud and Cloud will sort of give me um, back the upcoming events does not work because it consumes a lot of um, tokens. So the idea that I had is what if I take everything that is HTML, everything that it's styling and just optimize it. So I take that input here and when I execute a small JavaScript, um, it will just give me all the content related to all the different chapters, a little bit more optimized. And if you see the output here, it looks very clear. The URL of the chapter, how many members they have, a description of what's happening on that page, including like an upcoming event or not, um, and the date when I did, of course, scan that. After finishing that, now I have a shorter uh, amount of data to work with. Now I'm sending it to Claude. And what I'm doing with Claude, basically I'm telling the system to scan the input, which is a very short text, and identify the upcoming events. Identify the city, the date, the URL for that chapter, and all of that, and give me a very clean output that looks um, I'll show you in a second how that looks like, but it will look like a JSON file. Now, after Claude has analyzed, you know, all those um, zipped HTML sort of files to text, um, I run a code to process that to prepare it for Jira um, ticket creation. And at the end, I'll receive all the events happening across all the different community in a very beautiful list within Jira with the diagram that I like the most, sort of the Gantt diagram or timeline um, diagram. Now let's execute this workflow. It takes some time. Um, to make sure that we are respecting um, REST API limits, all of that. It takes some time really to go through the different um, content and specifically the AI piece, like the Claude piece, um, it's just analyzing um, one by one. And the idea behind it is because they're, you know, they're really trying to enforce uh, the output to be like a JSON file that we can work with to make sure that it's combining different resources in the query and it's giving me exactly the dates, uh, not something that it's not correct. And if we take a look at where is it right now, 14 items, so three, I think, still to go um yeah one perfect so now it's happening everything will be cleaned up in this node and bam being pushed to jira and if i go back here we see the beautiful events being created uh with the dates with every information that i need i see that um essen atlassian breakfast club they plan something in december uh in september that's really great i probably tried to join that one but you see the summer is really very dynamic, right? Atlassian community is vibrant. They are doing a lot of events, specifically June. Looks like short before going to the holiday. Uh, let's have those beautiful events. I've been recently to the Munich one and uh, it was really fantastic. So the other thing that I like is um, of course, having all the uh, different events that I can, um, that I can, you know, navigate what is the 
possible sort of members that could join that event, the URL so that I can open and quickly see uh, the event um, and all of those uh, things. And this applies literally to um, every event. So if I, if I open the one from Essen, we can go to the URL and then I can see that they are planning um, some things in September. So really, really fantastic. And then I can decide right to uh, join the event uh, by reserving a seat there and join the event. So back to N8N, really fantastic tool in combination with workflows, with Jira and a lot of different options that they have, really very powerful. If you have any questions, if you probably wanna create your own events, maybe in Autotasking or anything else, just let me know. And I'm really looking forward to helping you do that. It's a straightforward process. Thank you everyone for listening. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.